I'm the older one. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> First question. Um, I don't really remember them telling me you were deaf. I remember things happening. So I remember mom started taking classes at the college. Dad would go after work and take classes and they got videos that they would put on and Lindsay and I would like sit, sit and watch, but I don't ever remember them saying, your sister is deaf. I remember them praying for you before, but I don't remember like them saying she's deaf and... Same, and I was too young. I was only like less but than maybe... two years yeah. when you were born, so I was very, very, very young still. I was five, but she, we didn't know she was deaf until eight month, months. No, months, yeah. Yeah, so mom and dad bought us like videos, and I think that's how we learned. Like, I was only five, and she was like two or two. three. So for me, I feel like it was the same as learning, uh, not Spanish, <laughs> English. Or like how you learned sign from mom, Lynn's learned from mom too, all of us. Yeah. yeah. Because I was still like a baby and so I was learning. Okay, three is not a baby. <laughs> okay, a toddler, same thing. A kid. I was a toddler, I was still learning words in English. <laughs> A three-year-old is still learning. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. Yeah, I mean, I remember really the videos. So mom got us videos and we would sit and watch. And she was learning sign so she could teach you a language. And at same time, she was teaching us so we could talk to you. And then she bought us like the Joy of Signing book. The book. So yeah. you know we all, all of us had a you know a book of it. And I remember mom and dad going to classes at night. Yeah. Yeah. Growing up with Duster. So I think it you know became our normal. It was a little bit different because going to church, you know, one of us would sign for you. for you. We would interpret, you know, every Sunday. So one day her turn, one day my turn. And, you know, I think it's harder because you, you know, can't speak. And talking with other people, we had to look out for you. And that's just the hard part. You know, it's like always having a foreign exchange um, student, gosh, I can't remember any of these words, um, around all the time. Like you're like all the time needing to interpret. So um, I think that was the hard part, just you not feeling included and needing to always make sure that we were interpreting for you and watching out for you. Yeah, I think it was the hardest when we're in big groups like our family and with our cousins. That was the hardest um, because it's easy to just like start talking and talking and talking and then wait, wait, we need to stop and sign for Ashley. Um, but other than that, it was, like Kim said, our normal. I don't know anything else other than having a little sister who is deaf and who who I have to interpret for. It's not like Kim has a different ex experience experience because she had me first who was hearing and then you who was deaf so I think it's different but all I know is having one little sister who's deaf. Um, 
of having a deaf, uh, deaf sister. I mean, Wait, what was the question? The hardest part of having a deaf sister. Uh -huh. I think it's just that, you know, because you want to make sure that you feel included. And then, uh, you know, when you were younger too, you know, um, I always wanted to encourage you to be reading and help you with, with school because I was um, worried about you, you know, just how your future would be because you didn't have the same, like, playing field that everyone else has. Yeah, we mm -hmm. didn't go to the same school. You went to Christian schools, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But even then, it's not like when Kim and I went to the same school, we didn't see each other throughout the day. So, I mean, it was the same. Yeah. Similar. In that, you know, it's a different experience when you're different ages. Mm -hmm. So, you're first. So, um, I, I felt, I mean, my sign is not good now because it's been a long time since I've really practiced. I, left the home for 12 years 12 years or something so not practicing every day with Ashley means I finger spell a lot no good but um, I don't feel like there was a language barrier because one you're very patient you're very 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 patient and you're okay with waiting and um, and then two I feel like I want, if I want to communicate um, something, I'll work hard to say it, but it's not hard with you, so. I think the hardest part is thinking too fast and signing slow low, because I'm, I think and talk fast in everyday li life, and then with you, I have to like slow down so I can sign right and not missed words or missed what I'm trying to communicate to you. Or if you don't want to know what we're saying, you just close your eyes. <laughs> so that is a real barrier. I say, Ash, you need to read more. Ash. <laughs> and I figure, <laughs> figure spell it into her hand if she didn't want to see it. Right? That happened? Yeah. She's closed her eyes on me and I still want to say it, so finger spell, she'll know what I'm saying still. <laughs> Not a barrier, but like I said, it's hard because I think fast, and she thinks she thinks fast. Just kidding. LOL. <laughs> Yeah. Right, so same. So it's like flip flop. Like if you notice at church, I'm fast at signing when it's other people talking, but then when it's my words, I have to slow down and it's harder, but it's easy to interpret fast for someone because I don't have to think about it, I only have to interpret. But like the other day, um, I think it was dad asked me, so what did you get out of church? And I said, nothing. He said, you interpreted the whole thing for Ashley. And I go, yeah, but I wasn't like listening for myself. I was like listening and for the words. for the words and giving it to Ashley. And it's different. Yeah. And I think like that, sh I don't know yeah. how to... Well, it's just interpreting, yeah. yeah. Because when you're interpreting, you're not absorbing things. You're just like passing it through. Yeah. 
You were the one that was like the favorite. All my friends love you because you're so cute. So they always wanted to learn how to sign, to like to say hi to you, and they thought it was so cool when my um, best friend Courtney and I were younger. I would teach her sign, so me and her would sign in class, and so um, everyone loves to learn for you because they think it's cool. I think many people are curious, curious, curious about it and uh, find it interesting, interesting. And <laughs> Our sign is so, so bad. bad. <laughs> but Ashley understands us and that's She's all so that matters. patient. <laughs> yeah. I think she it's more important to her that we love to communicate with her and she's fine with our bad sign because we love her and try. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, oh, your friends. Oh, they find it, they find it interesting and they love Ashley. They, my new friends, like in recent years, love following me on Sign with heart yeah. and learning more new words. And yeah, I think many people want to learn sign as a second language yeah. uh, because it's useful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think many people ask, like, how did you learn or sign? Can you or read lips? Oh, about you? What questions do you people ask, ask about just in you? General. Oh, I remember so many people asked if you could drive. <laughs> like, <laughs> such a dumb question to me. Or, because I always like, say, that's so cool, she can read Braille. Like, no. what? No. No, she can see. <laughs> she can see, she can read, she can drive. And I think. Many people asked about driving because of like police or ambulances. You know how to stop for a cop, <laughs> right? You've had practice. But it's like I always say it's the same as if you're driving with music on and it's loud. You don't hear the sirens. Ashley, using your car is a bad idea. I would get in my car after and the music be so, so loud. Because she, she likes, likes the, the feeling of the bass. And she doesn't turn it down when she <laughs> leaves. And then you go in and you're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> And you loved music before, yeah. Um, what else do people ask? Yeah, can you read lips? Um, yeah, but then I oh, they ask how you are deaf, yeah. like why you are deaf, and like I think that there's a big misconception, like deaf and hard of hearing. So I'm like, well, it's different if you're hard of hearing and deaf. Like if you're deaf, it's a lot harder to mm -hmm. be able to read lips and to speak. And so that's why it's, you know, amazing that you can do what you can do with, you know, 0% hearing. And I think it's cool because I tell my friends that you can talk and you use your voice and they think that that's really cool. Right, right. Hard of hearing, yeah. Right. Yeah. But mom yeah. is mom and mom made you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But hearing people don't know the difference. They right. think that they're all the, the same. same. Yeah. Yeah, you can talk well. Yes. Many people can understand you. I've used your voice, yeah.
therapist. Yeah. Yeah. Way too late. Mm -hmm. Better late than right. ever. And mom has helped you and worked with you a lot. A lot. Because they, mom and dad, like you using your voice. Yeah. <laughs> dad doesn't know what's going on if you don't use your voice. He's the best at understanding you only, only with, your, with voice your voice. Because it's like he can't see you. <laughs> He has to be good at <laughs> understanding your voice. Yeah. Yeah. Just like I'm the best at fingerspelling because I use it so much so I can pay attention to yours and get yours easy. You're fast when you fingerspell. I'm the best. Who's the best? Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get Tyler on here. My husband. No. What's it husband, like? Husband. What's I said wife. Like? <laughs> I said husband, yeah. Yeah. What's it like marrying into a family with a deaf sister in law? Next time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say to make it a habit to sign all the time. And I think that's something that mom and dad have tried to do very, very well is to mm -hmm all the time have the rule of no talking if you're not going to sign. And even then, sometimes we fail and talk without signing, but... Ashley was like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we will stop, because it's easy for hearing people to just like talk, 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 and you get caught up in conversation and you forget, oh, we need to stop and tell Ashley what's happening, but when that's a rule, you are more aware and you, you see, oh wait, we need to pause and wait to interpret for Ashley. Right. Yeah. I'll just say what's going on. Right. Yeah. 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 I think that, like, the nice um, part is that you were. The nice part. So, the nice part is that you were the youngest. So, I felt like a responsibility for you. And I think that having that, like, mentality, like, that you know we need to take care of you and look out for you is a good one for a family to have because you know um, it's nice to have people in your corner you know and I think that we all really you know tried hard to take care of our little sister who needs a little bit more help to be you know on the same playing field and for you, um, I think it was important for me to encourage you a lot, and you maybe need more encouragement than another person would who can hear because you have to overcome a lot. Yeah. Fern. Yeah. Yeah. Totally.
Ja. 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 At the burger place. Ja, ja, dat is de naam. So wrong. Ja. Ja. Yeah. 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 And you were... It was a good job, too. Yeah, you were training people and going to other places to help get their... Um, teams started so you were not just working there you were doing amazing there but you can't do that unless you have like yeah, your family you know pushing you and telling you you can do it you know and so I think that's important for family of deaf people to know just you need to really 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 like encourage them and tell them that they can do and that anything. they are like just as capable as anyone else to do it yeah i think that's something we did in our family was you were the same as us like yes you were deaf but you were not handicapped yeah. and we never let you think that or treated yeah. you yeah. like that yeah pushed like you if, if we're <laughs> If we're doing it, Ashley's then like, stop. To do it. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. Because because you're deaf, you need to try harder. Yeah. You have to prove yourself more in the real world. Like you want to think that if you have the same skills as a hearing person that you're fine but it's not like that out there like people are still you know discriminating against deaf people so you have to be that much better yeah I right. agree add or share add or share Hmm. Like what? <laughs> I'm trying to think. We love you. <laughs> I think something funny is that I love your relationship with Tyler, my husband. Yeah, that's cute. Because I love how patient you are of a teacher mm -hmm. and how fast he's learned sign in the few years you've known each other. So I think that's really cool. I would have not been happy if he didn't try to learn sign. That would be bad. Yeah. And his mom. Yeah. We're in the classic. <laughs> so sweet. Yay! We love you. She's the best sister. She's the most patient and sweetest. And the coolest. Yeah. Love you.